Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. It is the February 11th 48 hour analysis. We're going to take a look at all of the skins that are accepted just two days ago. And we're going to give it a proper looking into in regards to figuring out which of these skins is probably going to be a very good interesting investment to make and which one's probably not so much. Whether it's going to be in the short term or the long term, we're going to try and figure out what could we put our money towards and how can we improve our chances and making very nice delicious profits. So we're going to start off with talking about the heart rug. This was the skin that I was most interested in, mainly based on the fact that rugs, we just don't get that many skins for them. As you can see, that's all of them. But if we get to this point here, you can see the very clear visual. We only had two accepted in 2022. We had four accepted in 2021. And we only had two accepted in 2020. So you kind of get the idea now that, uh, yeah, we just don't get that many of them. And this is probably the reason why not a single one of them is below its Rustle price. So this is a very interesting look. And if this trend does, if we do commit to this trend, where we simply don't see that many rug skins being accepted throughout this year, that immediately will definitely help out the heart rug. Because there is a very big noticeable concern. In two days, this already has 25,000 sales. And that is ridiculous. It's not too surprising i guess why would you say that well partly because again we don't see that many rug skins but it's literally the shape of a heart and i did say i really do think that's going to be very exploitable you could put that anywhere in your base there's loads of fitting places you might want to put it you could put it outside your base you could have loads of hearts covering all over your base and whatnot so you kind of get the idea there's probably a, a funny appeal to it that a lot of people do appreciate but um, that's the thing where we have to just kind of take into consideration what is the actual demand versus the overall quantity. Are they equal? If that's true, oh, I hit my mic, sorry about that. If that is true, then uh, the value will hold. But if there's far too much quantity in comparison to uh, demand, then we're going to start seeing too much quantity appearing on the Steam market and too much uh, quantity appearing on the third party sites. So... Yeah, this is awkward. But as I said, <clears throat> if we do not see any other rug skins appearing throughout this year, then we should be fine. Like, that should totally be fine. Yes, when we go through bad times, it still will suffer. That's 100% true. But when we hit the good times again, would it be surprised in the slightest if this instantly jumps back up? So we'll have to see what happens with it. Will YouTubers and streamers have fun with it and do stupid things that people want to copy, therefore driving up demand? We shall see. But at the moment, I'd rather wait until Wednesday or Thursday, look at how many sales have happened, and then really make a choice based on that, based on the amount of sales. Because here's another thing that we need to point out. What rug skin has the most sales, or rather the most estimated supply? We're getting very close to beating the rug from hell. And that had 28,600 after seven days. We're at 25,000 after two days. It really does kind of get to the point where it's looking like oversaturation is definitely going to happen. So be prepared. Let's wait until then. Let's play it smart. Maybe it's best to just do a buy order in this. Okay. Right. So let's put that aside. Um, so here's, here's something that needs to be addressed in total for all of this. For all of this. Yes, this is all pretty much valentine's themed uh pink and whatnot you kind of have to understand this pretty much all the skins from last year they all went down below their rust or price for a very reasonable amount of time like there was definitely a time where every single one of these skins was in the red i remember seeing that i saw it happen so if you're wondering hmm is everything here going to be a very easy uh uh you know profit I will sit here and say I don't think so. I think all of these will be going below their rustle price at some point. Whilst this one looks very nice, in terms of the, like in the short term, could it immediately jump up? That very likely could happen because uh, we did see that happen with the likes of the Hell Rug and whatnot. But that glowed in the dark and that looked cool and that had many uses. But like for the rest of these, I am very unsure, and I really don't think we're going to be enjoying ourselves that much now i can you know still talk about each individual skin but guys i saw it all happen here especially with the clothing and armor as well that still went very cheap this got very cheap this got very cheap and even the deployables got quite cheap 
these were fairly okay. They didn't, they didn't go down in price too much, but they did go below their Rustor price pretty badly, as much, but not as much as everything else. <laughs> so, let's just commit. Let's start talking about the Kiss AR. It's a fun-looking AR. You got the big kiss. I love you. <laughs> but it's an AK-47. Whilst it's nice, bright, and pink, unfortunately, we are probably going to see an AK-47 skin being accepted every other week. So, one every two weeks on average. And at the moment, I think we're doing even higher than that. I believe we've had six Rustle rotations so far in 2023, and we've already had four AKs. And because of that, because we constantly keep seeing new AK-47 skins being accepted, people just don't want to remain loyal to their AK, and they just immediately ditch it when a new AK appears. So, can you understand that this isn't looking to be a very good investment? Maybe in the long term, maybe. Maybe, because it's goofy, it's silly, it's bright, it's pink, it's funny, haha. <laughs> but I just don't think it's going to hold immediately so be cautious about that it's already got 18,000 uh, no 19,000 sales almost yeah it's looking like a problem immediately that's probably going to get turned into metal a lot so be cautious that's looking to be a, a beer 70 to 90 cents offer right now we've got the lovers arrow garage door so this is another thing that i'm concerned about we're seeing far too many garage door skins being accepted in 2023 in six rustle rotations we have seen four marketable ones there was also a fifth one which was a twitch drop so take keep that into consideration we're seeing far too many garage doors um being handed out i guess you could say and this whilst it looks cool it just kind of reminds me of a streamer skin, ha ha ha, but jokes aside, it is a very cool looking garage door, I will give that to you Mr. Hewok. Um, but I just don't think people are going to care enough about it forever. For a $3 skin, I, I'm not against it, but we've literally just had a $4 uh, garage door skin, and the week after that we had a free, $3.50 free uh, garage door skin, then I think we had a break, and then we have, then we have this $3 garage door skin. Basically what I want to get across is... I think everybody who wanted a garage door has either stuck with what they bought or sold their old one to get the new one, and they're very likely going to sell this one to grab a new one when it appears as well. Um, yeah, this also has just over 18,000 sales after two days already. It's it's a bit worrying. Now, at least this one's abnormal, so we can think about it and do our early buy orders and then make considerations in regards to what we're going to do tomorrow. But at the moment, I'm not super f like enthusiastic for this. And I do worry we're going to see loads more garage door skins potentially being accepted with it over the course of February, March, April. Uh, yeah, for the rest of the year. I'm cautious. So let's just kind of slow down a bit. We could also see how many garage door submissions appear on uh, Monday, well, over the weekend and on Monday as well. And uh, yeah, we shall see. But at the moment, yeah. Now we've got the Love Struck Tier 2. So by default, the most important piece is the kilt because that's part of the core pieces, the, the best loadout. And well, here's the thing. This hasn't sold as much as I was anticipating. The best thing that we can do is compare the kilt with all of the other pieces. So kilt at the moment has 12,726. Now we'll compare that with uh, Tier 3. Both of the Tier 3 have over 29,000 sales. Let's. I think we're better off comparing it to the hoodie and the pants. So the hoodie and the pants, they both had just shy, so just below 22,000 sales. After two days, this kilt, it has 12,700. First of all, I'm quite surprised it didn't. At, it wasn't sold at a higher price. I, I honestly would have thought this would have been $2 each, but no, nope, it's 99 cents. So even at a very affordable, cheaper price, this hasn't sold that much. So I'm very surprised by that. At the moment, this is actually looking to be quite appealing. It hasn't sold that much. And also, let's just get this across. How many people do you genuinely think will want to run around in full pink? Now, if you wanted to play very competitively, try hard, you probably, you probably don't want to do that. But if you just want to muck around and have fun, you probably do want to wear it. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if at some point in the future there's going to be some YouTube videos of people wearing full pink just for a joke or just for a fun video idea and whatnot. I can see that. I could see that. So will the appeal you know, get rubbed off from a video like that and then everybody wants to start wearing pink? I don't know. But this is our only full pink collection that we have in the game currently. Um, yeah, so here's the main thing. 
what caused the hurting the pants to jump up in price? The appearance of the tier three and the appearance of the tier two. What caused the tier three to jump up in price? The appearance of the tier two. What's going to cause this to jump up in price? This was something I brought up on Thursday with the rust rotation. Now, a lot of people in my chat did point out we could still get boots and gloves. And you know what? That very likely could happen. I just don't think boots and gloves are going to have that much of an impact. And let's also point out, yep, all of these four skins did go down in price after Halloween last year. That did happen. These actually went down to about 70 cents each, these two. But only now, only now did they go up in price. Is that the same thing that could happen to all of these? Is it the same thing that could happen to the kilt? Now, if it doesn't sell that much, if it does sell below the hoodie and the pants, I would be interested in buying into these. But I just still don't know if the whole appeal of wearing full pink is going to get across to everybody. Is there even an appeal? <laughs> Do you get what I mean? So, yeah. At the moment, this is interesting. Keep an eye on it. I might actually consider buying some. But my head's telling me you could just probably do a very good buy order there's a very good chance these are going to get cheap or go below the rustle price at some point maybe it's best to wait until thursday make the purchase and then wait until saturday look at what the prices are after 48 hours and then make a decision whether or not to refund it or not that might be the play so yeah but it is looking interesting like give it a year or so will all of this jump up in price i don't know but at the moment these two pieces look like they're going to be the pieces that are going to struggle the most because there's too much excess amount in comparison to the hoodie pants and the kilt. So yeah, these are always going to be the cheapest ones, it looks like. Right, so let's now talk about the MP5, the LR and the SAP. So unfortunately, based on what I've seen recently with the likes of all of the MP5 skins that we've had accepted recently, <laughs> um, yeah, down, down, uh, blackout skins, so doesn't matter. Down, 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 down. Yeah, okay, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um, JPEG MP5 is doing quite all right because we did quite recently get JPEG uh, clothing and whatnot. But yeah, uh, all of this other stuff, it's not looking good. MP5's not getting a lot of love at the moment. In-game doesn't get that much love. Ever since the recall update, uh, we've been over this many times. It just lost all, people lost all interest in wanting to use it because it works well, weak now. People don't like using it as much. You know, there's other favorable guns. So lower gun demand, lower demand to use skins, lower skin prices. Simple as that. 70, 90 cents by order. The LR. LR, well, the problem, <laughs> again, it's a low gun demand issue. Remember, it doesn't mean in terms, it doesn't always mean in terms of low demand to use or want to use, rather low demand to get a hold of is it really worth it to grab this when you could get something else type of situation? So, yeah, LR300 skins, down. Why? Low gun demand. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Again, 70 to 90 cents. And then we've got the SAP. SAPs are weird. SAPs are strange. SAPs definitely are strange. I know they do get nice usage, but, yeah, they don't really hold very well. <laughs> it is weird. Maybe it's simply because people just like the older SAP skins a whole lot more than the newer ones. That very likely could happen. Let's also point out, there's several SAP skins that have glow-in-the-dark aim sights, so... Yeah. But, regardless, with this, by default, I'm just going to go 70 90 cents. I don't think it's going to hold its value. I think it will struggle. And that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Then we've got the small chocolate box. So, this doesn't glow-in-the-dark, but... Uh, it's quite silly now in terms of lowest price that by default is the third lowest price small box skin at the moment so box skins when times are very good they do very good but we seem to be slowly getting out of these good times i'm starting to notice several of these boxes going down in price most notably though the holiday theme ones this valentine's box is very ha valentine's themed it quite literally says happy valentine's but the whole chocolates in a big box type of thing, quite funny. Bright pink box as well. Could you could you envision a lot of people enjoying this? I think I could. It's a fun little box, perfect, perfectly on theme with the likes of Valentine's and whatnot, but it's a bit awkward. However, it's only sold 7,000 so far. Let's take that into consideration. Let's also kind of just show off, out of all of the small boxes, what is the lowest estimated total supply 
So you've got, <laughs> wow, 180, is that it? 184 in circulation. Wow. But yeah, it's fairly low. In the modern times, to see this with a fairly low quantity, that's, that's quite ridiculous. Like, that's definitely in the lower end. And it's come out in 2023. <laughs> that is madness. So simply due to the sheer lack of purchases, the lack of quantity, it very likely could bounce up a whole lot nicely in the future. It could. So let's just kind of keep an eye on that one. All right, let's keep an eye on that one. But I've mentioned this before. On average, uh, small boxes, they seem to at least stick around their value. So when prices do tend to go down, small boxes tend to, at the very least, kind of stick around their prices that they sold for in the Rust store. So this pumpkin storage box, it's probably at worst maybe going to go down to maybe minus 20%. And then when times are good again, it might jump up a nice bit. Maybe when we get close to Halloween again, it's going to jump up a bit. That is to be expected. But yeah, you get the idea. So at the very least... I expect all small boxes to at least be fairly close to their rust or prices. Not all of them will be, but on average, they will be close to it. So, yep. And then when times are good, as I said, that's when you sell them. That's when you make your good profits. So, yeah. All of these skins, unfortunately, look to be not very good investments, both in short term and in the long term. But the only thing that I could easily see potentially happening is because quite a few of them have low quantity sales, they could be easily manipulated on the Steam market and pumped. We've seen that happen quite a lot. Pumping still keeps happening. And yeah, so, but you can't rely on that. You can't buy a skin simply because, oh, well, this had hardly any sales. Surely someone's going to buy all the stock and pump up the value. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes it just happens. Sometimes it don't. But, you know, if you put a reasonable buy order down, you will buy these skins regardless at some point. Uh, just to give you a nice little uh, insight. Uh, yeah, AKs. I recently sold uh, uh, like seven Dead Souls AK-47s. They got pumped very, very recently. And I think they still are. Yes, they are. Still selling for around $7. So if we just go to the market. Yeah. So basically, just to give you a quick insight, what happens is a group of people will jump in, buy all the stock in the Steam market, wait a while, then buy out all the stock in the Steam market again, and they're going to pump up the value. Do you see how the buy orders don't really match up? That It's not very fluid very nicely. Before, all the buy orders were only about a dollar, and then suddenly you got $6.78 here. So yeah, that's what they can do. They, can, they have a controlling stake in the vast majority of the stock, and well, what they're going to do is they're going to make this appear to be a $7 skin, and then they're going to, then they're going to throw it onto third-party sites and uh, exchange them for skins that are actually worth the prices that they are. So they trick a lot of third-party sites and gambling sites. So yeah, this is something that you can't rely on, though. You can't rely on the fact that, oh, maybe someone will pump this up. No, you can't. There's far too many skins, so let's just leave it at that. Right then, people. So I'm sure I've got the message across. By default, all of these skins will very likely go below their rust or price. So it does look like this week it's probably best just to do a buy order. And it's probably best to think about the long term because the appeal of Valentines will die off and they will start to go down in price pretty noticeably, pretty quickly. And yeah, so... As a whole, let's just refresh. We currently have 145,000 people playing the game at the moment. That's quite good. Not as good as the previous week. However, on average, that's perfectly fine. 145,000 people playing in the second week and over the weekend for Rust. You know, you compare that with all of these previous months, it does stand out quite nicely. But I am noticing the slow trend of people starting to not play as much. And then we are going to start seeing the likes of the Rust skins going down in price. So this is a bit of a forewarning. This is a bit of a forewarning. <laughs> I hope that's the right way of saying it. I am expecting prices to start going down. So if you have a bunch of skins or just a few play skins, maybe it's a good time to sell now, wait a month or two, buy them again. You know, because you will be buying them for cheaper soon. And by default, by default, when we hit, the CSGO uh, major time, which is going to be May, when the new sticker capsules and stickers come out, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if the Rust skins as a whole do go down in price. I should also point out, 
and it is something that has been asked. Yes, very recently we just got the new CSGO case, and right now it's still selling for just over six and a half dollars. And all of the skins in it are very expensive still at the moment. So a lot of people put a lot of focus into this. Maybe this is also going to start rushing the process of Rust skins starting to lose their value. As in people will start liquidating their Rust skins and putting it towards CSGO. That very likely could happen. So, gentlemen, that's basically it. It's Valentine's, it's pink, it's, 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 it's like this every year. Yeah. So keep an eye on the sales for this and everything else, I guess. But yeah, the main things that I was interested in on Thursday was the rug and the love struck. Let's see what happens with those two. And well, we'll show all off in the Saturday Skin Showcase. So best of luck to all of you. Have fun investing. And we could just take a real quick look, see the previous weeks. So these are still holding up quite nicely. Next week, of course, we're back to the regular skin, so maybe we'll see the likes of a comics jacket being accepted. Ooh. Um, we have not seen a new tempered deplorable uh, last week, but maybe we'll see one appearing in over the course of the next two days, over the weekend, maybe. Let's see what you're up to, Mr. Milio Frito. I'm a double door. I'm a double door. I'm a double door. Or a rug. Rug would be bad. Yep. Will we see another de uh, stone sleeping bag? Will we see another gimmick door? I like the fact that Wasteland Thompson's still doing immediately very good. Yep. And then we go to the previous week from here. And, well, what do we see? Arctic's still kind of holding up. But I have noticed this pizza collection. Yeah, the pizza hide skins are struggling. I've bought a lot on this account. Let's just quickly show you. No, I don't want to learn about that. No, I wanted to look at this. Uh, Steam, what are you doing? Right. So, yeah, I was buying a whole bunch of them. You can see some there. You can see a lot of them there. Yeah, so uh, if you've seen my recent short video talking about why I usually tend to buy skins, um, here you go, on Thursday, that's the exact reason why. Within 48 hours, I realized, yeah, hide skins aren't looking very good at the moment. And I decided, you know what? I will just stick with a buy order. And at the moment, there's 172 of these on the market. Cheapest one is 84 cents and the buy orders have gone down. And then you look at this one and this 192. So what likely has happened now is the people that were dumping or rather unloaded all of their stock onto the steam market, causing huge resistance. They've learned the error of their ways, hopefully, and they removed their stock. But it's too late now. They've caused this to happen. So, yeah, reckless people, whether they did it on purpose or an accident, I don't know. Yes, there is a theory that people do it on purpose to make skin prices go down so that they can then pick up all the cheap ones themselves and manipulate it later. That is something I have been checking on. But again, it's probably just recklessly dumb people. <laughs> so, yep, that's it. That's everything. Gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the Valentine skins, and let's see what happens with the new skins next week. Keep an eye out for my Tuesday workshop skin checks. Have, have a great time. Yep, see ya. Bye.